Hey programmers, Stefan here from Be a Python Dev, and we're going to talk about the 11 best ways to make money programming from home. Uh, the first one is get a degree or a certificate or some kind of like online code boot camp and take that certification and then apply to jobs and work remotely. Um, before that used to be a little harder, but now in this day and age with the coronavirus going on, companies are realizing that remote work is more feasible and they're looking for those remote workers. That's the first way that you can start making money by programming from home. I mean, that's also like the most typical way to make money for programming. It's what I did. I got a computer science engineering degree and I've been working professionally for five years now and it pays pretty good and it affords me uh, enough freedom to pursue some of these side efforts that we're going in, but they can also be another main source of income if it's what you primarily focus on. And these other 10 do not require a degree or certificates, uh, and they can all be self-taught and grinded on to work from and work for you. The second way you can make money programming from home is to make a web application. Uh, so <laughs> Here I'm kind of thinking like a Facebook or a Twitter or an eBay, you know, just some kind of big web application that provides value to people. You're definitely not going to make something that good with your first web application. It'll probably take some uh, trial and error and a lot of iteration and a lot of development on your part before a lot of people start using it. You know, you'll need to advertise it. You'll need to get traffic. Uh, and a lot of skill will go into it before you start making money. But if it's a good idea and it's something that provides a new take on an interesting perspective and provides value to people, uh, that could scale hugely. Uh, but even if you just create a web application that like 500 people are using a month and you're charging $5 a month subscriptions, uh, that's 2,500 a month. So that's not bad for a side effort that can grow into something bigger. The third thing that we're gonna talk about is mobile application development. Uh, given that everyone is carrying around smartphones in their pockets, uh, it's actually more common for people to use smartphone applications these days than web applications. If you take the time to learn Android development in Java or Swift development for iOS apps or some kind of cross-platform framework like React, then you can definitely uh, take those skills, use it to make a mobile application. Uh, even if you don't have your own ideas for a mobile application, you can go freelance those skills out, say I'm a mobile application developer, uh, what can I do? And those projects are generally a little smaller in scope, so you can be a freelancer, a consultant, and go from project to project and make money working from home that way. If you do have your own great idea, you know, you can put it on the Android or the Apple Store, uh, get downloads, you know, use a freemium policy where you uh, pay for some kind of design features or something, or a subscription policy where someone's using $10 a month, you're able to put together a good application that other people aren't being able to provide that same service, then that'll definitely get traffic and be a way to generate you some free money. The other thing with applications is if the application you make is pretty low maintenance, then once you put in the initial development and then you start selling it, it's kind of like a passive income model where people just pay for the subscriptions and you put out the service. And then you don't really have to worry about much work after that, aside from a little bit of maintenance and customer service. And if the application is profitable enough, then you can put together a team to take care of that for you. The fourth way that you can make money by programming from home is once you have enough programming skills and if you have skills in teaching and the ability to make courses with like a camera and other uh, PDF creators and things of that sort, you can sell your programming courses through platforms like Udemy.com, Teachable, Skillshare, and many more, you know, just uh, Google, where can I sell courses online? I'm sure you'll find a bunch. Uh, the thing you want to be careful with there is certain platforms. If you upload a course there, they won't allow you to sell a course on another platform. So just make sure that you have free reign and rights over your courses uh, when you upload them. I think a plural site uh, takes over exclusive rights and then you're not able to go to multiple platforms. So be a little careful of that, but that's another great way to uh, share knowledge and definitely you don't want to make a course on something that's completely overdone if it's like a new space or a new technology kind of like uh, react native was a year or two ago or kind of machine learning is a machine learning in python is a new big buzz in the last couple of years so put together a course in something that there's not hundreds of other courses one thing you can do before putting in the effort to make your course 
is just search for other courses that are available to see how competitive that market is. And if you put together something good enough, uh, people will eventually find it and then share it with their other programming friends. The next way that you can make money programmer from home, I kind of touched on it uh, before, is to become a freelance developer. You can go to places like Upwork.com or Fiverr.com, uh, find out what people are looking for, and then sell your similar programming services there. The only thing about that is it will take a little while to build up clientele. Uh, it also helps if you have an active like Twitter or a Facebook and kind of advertise yourself out that way. Uh, people definitely need to know you before you start getting bigger and higher paying gigs. So that'll take a while to set up, but it's an excellent way to have freedom over what you work on. Similar to making your own programming course, again, if you have teaching skills in addition to programming skills, is you can become a programming tutor, go to local universities around and say, anyone looking for a tutor, here's my phone number. And you know, you make like those little flyers thing where you have all the phone numbers on the bottom and they just tear it off and then they can contact you. Or you can post your services on Craigslist, which is a little more sketchy. I definitely go through the universities and the high schools first. But uh, people that are learning computer science, you know, if they're very serious about it, they're, they're willing to pay, you know, $25 an hour and upwards probably at the right universities. Also, another thing with that, you need to have credibility when you're selling that you can be a programming tutor. Uh, if you don't have a resume that you've actually done programming in the past, it's going to be a little skeptical that someone's going to hire you. Um, something to be aware of. The next way would be to create your own WordPress plugin. Uh, WordPress dominates 90% of the internet. It is a content management framework uh, built on top of the PHP language. So if you take some time to learn PHP, uh, take some time to look at what plugins are unavailable and kind of what web application needs. If you have skills in web application development, it'll be a lot easier to figure out what kind of plugins aren't created that would be uh, advantageous for someone to work with. A lot of popular ones these days are like theme management, uh, being able to manage a uh, mailing list. Another one is like built-in SEO tracking and keyword hotspots and resizing images and stuff like that. So if, if you learn the PHP skills and you learn how to make uh, WordPress plugins and you have ideas on what would make a web application uh, better and easier to work with within WordPress, uh, there's definitely a market for that too. This next idea is kind of a meme, but it would be to start your own cryptocurrency. Uh, cryptocurrency is extremely hot these days. You know, Facebook might be making their own uh, once all the regulations are through. I don't know where that's at. Uh, depending on when you view this, maybe it's already out. But Ethereum and Bitcoin have been popping off here at the beginning of 2021. So if you deeply learn the crypto stack and technology and you're able to make something similar that people are able to, use for distributed applications and kind of pay per usage models and all that other stuff. I'm, I'm not an expert in crypto by any means, but I know blockchain technology is very popular if you build the right thing and provide the right APIs and frameworks for people to easily be able to use your blockchain. The next one is kind of a new one that I didn't really know about before, but you could become a sponsored coder. That's something available through GitHub. So if you have a repository on GitHub that a lot of people are using and downloading, you can put a button on your webpage to say like sponsor my development and then people can click in and give you uh, donations. I think uh, it's kind of like a Patreon model where they subscribe to you and they get access to parts of your GitHub repositories where they might not have had before. I haven't been using that at all. I haven't tried that at all. So I don't know how easy it is to get into but it looks like a cool thing uh, to be aware of. Another way to potentially make money from programming skills is to win coding contests. Apparently there's this website called topcoder.net or topcoder.com, one of those two. You can go in there and you can sign up for essentially like coding tournaments with a sign-up fee. And if you take in the top 10 places, you can win some money, I think. I haven't completely looked into this. I also don't know if I'm good enough as a competitive programmer to actually win these. Uh, but the competitive programming skill, you need to be able to solve problems fast with the correct data structures and really have a big awareness and depth of algorithms that can be applied to different problem spaces. And it seems like something cool and it's something I'm going to want to try to actually get into over the next couple of years. And, you know, you can too, if it's a way that interests you in making money and you're already doing a bunch of stuff like hacker rank and leak code anyways, and you feel comfortable with those kind of problems. Another way to make money online through your programming skills is by making automation applications. Uh, this can be something like a 
Twitter bot, a stock trading bot. Uh, I'm not advocating that you go make a stock trading bot, but if you have a ton of knowledge, <laughs> but if you have a ton of knowledge in finance and stocks and backtracking and back training and all that other stuff that you need for uh, stock trading, then you can potentially create a really good uh, stock trading algorithm. And if it's good enough, you can even sell it on uh, sites that will use it and give you percentages of what they use. Uh, <laughs> the next kind of automation app, you can make like a SEO app, a web application template engine that generates web applications through running like Python commands, and, you know, different things like that. The automation space is definitely a huge space, especially if you have a problem or something you're doing repetitively. Like even if you're making a lot of YouTube videos and you need to upload them to different channels, you can create an automation application for that and then you can find a way to sell it online. I have another video about that topic and an article about it. I'll link to that in the description. Feel free to check that out. Uh, the next way you can make money with your programming skills online is by starting a YouTube channel, making programming uh, related videos and programming tutorials. Uh, a lot of people are doing this, but a lot of people are also wanting to learn about this because technology is a very hot topic these days. So right now, you know, you're watching this on YouTube and this is a programming channel. Once you get over 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you can get qualified to become monetized and based on the niche uh, that you're making videos in. So for instance, a programming channel would be educational. You can make anywhere from like two to $5 for every 1,000 views that a video has. So if you have really good content that a lot of people are able to follow along with, then you could potentially make, you know, 100 to even $10,000 a month, depending on how much time you put into it. But it's definitely not easy, you know, editing, coming up with the video ideas, filming, all that stuff. It's, it's kind of hard to get into, but it does have great potential after developing your content creation skills and being able to market your channel and all that other fun stuff. Thanks for watching up to this point. Those are my 11 most interesting ways that you can make money online. Uh, a couple of them I'm already working into. Uh, if you want to follow along my progress on these entrepreneurial side business efforts, uh, check me at my other channel. That link is down in my description. It's just Stephen B Street. Uh, up there, I give more detail into what I'm doing for uh, blogging and running my YouTube channel. And also, if you've gotten to this point and you've learned anything, uh, it'd be a great help to the channel to uh, like and subscribe. So with that said, thank you and see you next time. Bye.